Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Today I'll show you smart vector process inside of Nuke. So let's get started. So now we're in my system, and as you guys can see, this is a footage from uh, Avengers: Infinity War, and this footage from uh, like Doctor Strange. So you can see there's a small cut on his face. And the basic idea is I have to remove this cut from his face by using that smart vector. But guys, you uh, just I want to tell you something that smart vector is really smart because you can remove or you can add anything in your footage. So basically what you have to do, you have to rearrange everything. So before that, uh, make sure smart vector will work completely on a proper format. If your format are mismatching, the smart vector will never work. So, okay, so press S on your keyboard and then you have to select your frame range and the format size. Okay, so now press tab on keyboard and then select like smart, smart vector. Okay, now connect the smart vector source to this and view to this. Now you can see I got an error here. It's showing that file name is in knob. Uh, for the file name in file knob is not set so reason behind this is we have to pre-render for getting the smart vector output so we have to make this vector details like 0.3 is a by default so you have to make it like one press enter <coughs> then select a directory and you have to like <coughs> smart vector then dot four hashes and then dot e x and r then press open so now what you have to do you have to press this render button then it will start getting rendered so when it will render i already have that output that how it will look like before this is a tutorial so we don't have lots of time so i already rendered it so let's import that file so when you press render your this option this error will go so now just leave it the smart vector and connect it to this footage and leave it like this Okay, the now press R on your keyboard and just take this one because I already have this one. So whenever you complete your smart vector render, it you can get your this EXR file rendered on your that directory where you render that. Now select this and press tab and take a uh, vector. Sorry, it's like vec distort okay now you can see smart vector node is already getting connected to this one and now we have to make our source so before making this source you have to make a reference frame so let's make I already done this before so I choose this 68 number frame as my reference so press 68 now why I'm selecting this as a 68 uh, I already done this because it's in this for for this kind of footage I got this proper output in 68 number frame so now take the 68 and press set to current frame so now our uh, this frame is a reference frame now what I have to do I have to make a clean plate for this one so press frame hold frame hold connect this frame hold to this double click on this and select like 68 so now 68 number frame is our clean plate press one here you can use for this clean plate your photoshop but i am using here in nuke uh, so i'm sh showing you both the ways how you do it in nuke and how you do it in photoshop so just select it by pressing p you can get a roto paint node now select this uh, clean plate uh, sorry clone stamp tool and then you just decrease your hardness from here to zero and like then start painting like this slightly good yep so this one is going down and this is fine okay so now in this way don't make too much because you can see otherwise a spots or some kind of patches now see this is really fine so this way I'll remove I am removing this now see you can see there's a small patches in this way so just decrease this opacity to 0.5 and just slightly yep like this so it's now getting yep night fine now press F on your keyboard you can see no patches are right now visible here yeah. okay so now I'll show the same thing inside of Photoshop so let's jump to Photoshop so this is Photoshop and just zoom it like this little decrease the zoom now select by using any kind of selection tool I'm selecting this like lasso select it like this and you can use first a content ever so right click fill 
and then contained error press ok now see it's control D it's gone so now I am using this one as my clean plate this is really good you can see there's no patches are visible you if you find any kind of other patches you can move it like clone stamp tool I'm already got one patches so press alt and slightly yeah now it's fine now no patches are visible okay so now I am selecting this one as my clean plate now press ctrl shift s and here you can like clean plate and save it like in PNG or JPEG I'm selecting PNG press save and OK now it's got saved now let's jump to nuke again so now we're in nuke now I'll show the both of the difference between this option by using nuke clean plate and Photoshop clean plate press R on your keyboard and then uh, select from footage folder I'm selecting this clean plate PNG press open now see this is a clean plate from Photoshop and this is our main footage now press one on this footage and this split plus two on this footage so this is one and this is two so both are different now see the clean plate is fine now let's go to the main clean plate one which is this one so connect this one to this footage now compare this two see this is one so this is our new one and this is two this is Photoshop one I think the Photoshop one is a little better see there's a black line is coming here but in Photoshop you can't see but one difference is Photoshop is a little blurred but in nuke one it's lit not little blurred so I'm taking this two as my clean plate which one is good I don't know uh, which show my result good I'll take that one so I'm first now I'm using the nuke one and leave this Photoshop one uh, side just de uh, release this connection and then select F on keyboard double click on this and then what you have to do press O on your keyboard for this rotor node and then disable this rotor paint by pressing D on your keyboard now you can see this cut is visible here now double click on your rotor node and take a Bezier spline a rough rotor like this area should cut for this footage like this now select all this and press Z now you can see this all getting smooth now select it like this now fine now go to row to paint node again double click on this now go to this row to paint option go down select 22 clones by pressing shift on your keyboard now go up and go to this lifetime option from here lifetime style from single frame to all frames so what basically is this will make all the frames for the same clone option now this uh, enable this one by pressing D on your keyboard now you can see no patches are visible go to this move tool okay so now all is set now go select this roto node by pressing tab take a pre multiply or pre mult now you can see this option is cut it out okay now again you have to take a reformat like reformat yep like this and you should take reformat for getting a proper output format like 1920 by 804 which is your main system now you can see this is 19, 960 by 402 which is uh, our uh, like half resolution so just remove this option from here now you can get your proper resolution when you enable this option you can preview in, in nuke in a really good way if your footage or your whatever you are doing in nuke which is very high res so you can by pressing this option it will getting decrease your resolution and you can see that output properly when you're done with that you just release this option now it's 1920 by 804 which is its main uh, I mean resolution okay so now connect this two. you have to like press this source now go to this reformat node then we have to connect this two to the main footage now press M on your keyboard and then connect this viewer to this view uh, M connect this a pipe to this vector distort node then B pipe to this footage node now you can see our footage is again visible now I just rearrange this otherwise you know in nuke if you don't rearrange anything you after some time you get stuck in nuke okay so now already I have one clean plate from Photoshop I already leave that inside because if you don't get a proper output from this nuke one we then use this option for clean plate okay <coughs> 
now you nothing have to do just get play but see it's 1920 by 804 which is very high risk so i know it will getting stuck so i'm decreasing my resolution and then press f on keyboard to fit to screen and then just play so now you can see it's playing really well and uh, just slightly it will take some time if your foot system is a little low config it will take some time to take buffer but when your buffering will done you can see a proper output now you can see our footage it's coming really well it's not having any kind of issues over there so it's fine now take a uh, like let's try that how photoshop one will look like if we'll connect that in this footage so go to 68 number frame again where is 68 number frame yes this is 60 number frame now what you have to do for this one you just take this disable this frame hold or you can delete it or just connect this row to pen node to directly to this option now see it's gone so now when you play this you can see this is our photoshop option and uh, yeah see it's not getting properly done see you can see the hard line is visible see so the basic so the end result is photoshop you are not successful <laughs> okay so we have to use our nuke one so just control z z z z and yes now we have again our nuke footage so basically why photoshop is not getting proper output the reason behind this is like photoshop is getting blurred that area in fact little more area it blurred but in nuke we just particularly select some area which is already get it cut on his face so this is the basic idea okay so now what i have to do i'll just select disable this roto option and go to the 68 number frame and just little refining by pressing roto double click and select all this together and control and just drag it little up so now you have a feather on this uh, roto option like this it's fine okay so now all set so what you have to do you just press ex option to enable this one and let's take a color correct node so c press c for color correct and connect it to here and then what you have to do take some saturation up slightly like comma a little up get some shadows up and some gain down now take this offset option little higher so now you can see it's a faded option which is a really cinematic look so i think this is fine and just play this for this time okay so hope you really like this because this is a smart vector node output so in this way we can remove anything or you can put anything on his face or any kind of subject or object which is moving or like anything whatever is doing we can using this smart vector for this kind of things so guys hope you really enjoyed this tutorial which is based on smart vector in nuke and if you are new in this channel then please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit that like button do comment like and share and obviously keep watching vfx world i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy bye bye